Are you looking to try your hand at YouTube, TikTok, or any other content creation? Well, first off, you're going to need a tripod. And this budget and versatile tripod sent to me by GoPhoto might be just what you're looking for. So let's go check it out. Now it's just a short vid today on the GT1 by GoPhoto. Uh, yes, I said that they sent this out to me, but I'm not obligated to say anything other than what I truly believe. And I truly believe that for $40, this is a great tripod option for anybody on a budget looking to get into any kind of social media or content creation. So without rambling on like you know I can do, I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. Allowed a cell phone mount, very standard, nothing special or spectacular about a cell phone mount. It's got the quarter 20 thread on the bottom and on the back. You know, they wouldn't post these silica packages in any of these electronics that say do not eat unless somebody tried to. So, for those of you out there, Goes from 18 inches to 58 inches, and that's a pretty good sized tripod. So you have your aluminum alloy, you have a foam handle here, you have pivotable head, pivotable head, you've got your quick release plate, very standard stuff here. Here you've got a hook that goes at the bottom so you can hold the weight down towards the ground to keep a uh, little Keep your stuff a little bit more sturdy. Now I don't use these much, but I guess you could make micro adjustments if you wanted to with the little wheel. You have to make sure, of course, that it's... For micro adjustments, I guess if that's what you want without having to move anything, that would be a good option for you. It's gonna pan and tilt just like any other wood, but in the side-to-side -side motion, you know, there's a few catches in there, but they're very minor, but with cell phones the way they are today and a lot of cameras with in-body image stabilization and the digital stabilization on phones or cameras, you're not going to see a lot of these little jitters that these things can cause because you bought a budget tripod. You have an adjustable arm here that will lock your tilt into place. Seems pretty good. Now this thing says that it has a capacity up to 6.6 .6 pounds. So if you have a heavier camera, DSLR or something with a very heavy lens, then you can feel comfortable in knowing that this will handle it. And I'll show you a few demonstrations here in the next few minutes. You are also able to get the variable angles with your camera with the vertical and horizontal views by just lifting this and tightening the little butterfly screw. And it seems really solid. Again, we're about to show you some demonstrations of it holding something a little bit heavier. Because my EOS R, it weighs about 2.2 pounds, and I'll put that on here and let you see. It also has the liquid levels on it, so you can get your angles just right. It's got the little rubber feet on a little ball swivel tilt thing, and and the rubber feet at the bottom are slightly adjustable, so you can make sure that you're grasping whatever surface you've got this thing sitting on. And the legs are the flip out. And you can hear that sound. That's a satisfying sound. Let's do that again. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a $40 tripod. You shouldn't expect too much other than it doing what you expect it to do. And I've got a feeling we're heading that direction. But before we go outside and I show you how this puppy works, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button. It's sure helping the channel out a lot. I'm getting a lot of attention lately and it's been wonderful because I've been reached out to by a lot of manufacturers from around the world to do tech reviews. And I've never been busier, but that's a good thing for someone like me. Let's go outside and check this thing out. Just felt a few raindrops here, so I'm gonna have to be quick with this outdoor review of this tripod, but GT1 is doing really well. I mean, this is uh, this is sturdy, and you can use this little hook right here. I don't know if you want to use that hook for you know anything too heavy. I wouldn't put a cinder block on there, but I guess for a backpack, it should be okay. But over time, 
You know, I hate it when people speculate on whether or not things are going to break. Oh, it looks like it'll break. Well, it hasn't. Or is there a constant complaint about it? I don't know. Uh, I didn't see anything in the reviews, so that probably will be just fine. Uh, the legs are nice and sturdy. It does wobble a little bit. The legs are aluminum, just like any other tripod would if you just put a lot of weight on it. The uh, standard rubber feet that are at the bottom of it, they do adjust and kind of contour the landscape so you don't have much to worry about there. Now for your tilt, all you'll have to do is spin this handle and now you can adjust here and here. So your tilt is nice and smooth. Again, plastic on plastic. You're not gonna get any Hollywood productions out of this tripod. If you're doing Hollywood productions with this, then you might need to ask for a different budget or go to a different company. A quick release. It's a square, perfect square. It can go on the camera any orientation, on the tripod in any orientation. So you just put it back on there, lock it in place. It's not going anywhere. Now, there's a butterfly screw on here. I just tighten it down even more. You can get that vertical and horizontal orientation of your choice and you just boom now you're ready for Instagram TikTok then back and doesn't seem to be going anywhere so it's your basic tripod what else can you want so I hope some of you budget tripod shoppers out there find value in this little tripod I like it a lot. I think that for 40 bucks, you can't beat it. It does exactly what it's advertised to do. I haven't had to deal with customer service with them, but all of the reviews that I've seen on Amazon point to the fact that they're very responsive because it does have a three-year warranty on it. So if you need that comfort in knowing that you have a three-year warranty on this, then worry no more so if you have any problems with your tripod in the future you can either go to their website or you can email them at gophoto.service at gmail.com and they will honor and work with you to make sure that you get the appropriate parts or have the whole thing sent in for repair or replacement so you kind of can't ask for much better because i've heard nothing but wonderful things with gophoto's customer service with that being said that wraps it up it's a simple tripod that will provide anything that you need for the next couple of years as you grow into a budding star on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or so many. I'm not even going to get into how many there are. So again, I appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you use my affiliate link if you purchase one. And I will see you all next week. Bye.